Hey, what's up guys? Zelix here with my first video on Skillcast. This video is going to be about having game awareness and a positive mindset. Now why did I pick this topic? I was trying to think back to when I was Nogus, and I really put a lot of thought into what really made me improve as a healer. Things that really made a difference in my gameplay. So in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I think is crucial for any healer, which is having game awareness and a positive mindset. So let's get started. First I'm going to be covering game awareness, awareness beyond the focus, and having a positive mindset. Having game awareness means you're constantly aware of your focus target, you have a wider vision of everything that's going on, and you're able to react to any situation. Now let's look at some examples of having game awareness. In every game you should be aware of the following. Your focus target, the enemy cooldowns, and enemy positioning. You have to learn to adjust your positioning according to the situation. Force for, yes. Yeah. First thing, first thing, first thing, first I'm getting yeah. a fear, getting a fear, got it. Getting that deep. When I think back to when I started arenas, I remember having this overwhelming feeling of confusion when I can't see where I'm getting CC'd from. That is because I wasn't watching my focus enough. You should always watch your focus for incoming CC. That means setting your focus is your number one priority in the game. Now that doesn't mean you want to be tunnel visioning your focus target. You want to be glancing at your focus target every once in a while, and if you see a CC being cast, you go back to your pillar. Getting that, getting that. Someone's getting followed again. Got it. Get down the bridge. I'm gonna go fear that druid. Okay. Yeah, get up, get up. Help me get, get to him, help me get now. to him. Did you see what happened to my focus target? A lot of the times mages will purposely use mirror images or invisibility to break your focus. You should always be aware of that and try to put them back on focus as soon as possible. Now just because my focus is broken does not mean I am not aware of him casting. This is where I'm going to be talking about your field of vision. Most gladiators have a large field of vision, meaning they are able to see much more than an average player. But not everybody started this way. When you first begin arenas, your field of vision is extremely limited. Your eyes are probably focusing on one thing at a time. Probably somewhere here, here, or here. Eventually what you want to be doing is expanding your field of vision. You want to be seeing more than you could before, seeing multiple things at the same time. In every game try to challenge yourself to see more, and pay close attention to what your enemies are doing. Now we'll go over this in more detail in the next section because this is going to take a lot of practice but if you consciously try to expand your vision you will eventually see things that you couldn't see before Poly, I'm Poly. Dead Poly, Dead no. Poly. in this part of the clip we're going to be going over another example of situation awareness but this time we're going to be trained really hard being aware of the situation when being trained is absolutely crucial to your success you want to be focusing extra hard when you're being trained because one interrupt can mean certain death. Now pay very close attention to your enemy interrupts and the CCs that are on your enemies so that you know when you can freely cast. It's important to note that you cannot fake cast forever. I know a lot of healers that have trouble fake casting themselves to death without ever getting a cast off. You need to have assistance from your teammates to be able to cast. You should always be communicating with your teammates on who they can CC so that you can cast. But you also have to be aware of the enemy team's dispeller. If he can dispel, it's never really safe. For example, if the warrior is polyed but the rest of the druid is not, it is not safe for me to cast, because he'll get instantly dispelled and get a pummel. Now in this point of the match, when you are low HP and out of cooldowns, what you want to be looking out for is something I call the breathing room. This is where everyone on the enemy team is CC'd or off you, and you have this little moment to freely cast. So right here, the tremor is down, so I can get a full fear in the shaman. The warrior is cycloned, and the druid got counterspell, so he can't dispel. This is my chance to top myself up. So your teammate should always try to give you some breathing room. Surviving melee cleaves is all about having game awareness, team coordination, and communication, and your ability to stay calm. Because the calmer you are, the less mistakes you'll make.
Now, we talked a bit about what mages do to break your focus. Then we talked a bit about expanding your field of vision. Here I'm going to be showing you an example of those, as well as why you need to be aware of things beyond the focus frame. Here the enemy mage uses mirror images to break my focus. But just because he's not on my focus doesn't mean I'm not watching him. I see that the mage blinks right here. So I'm already aware of what he's going to do next. You should always be aware of your enemy positioning. If a mage comes to your line of sight like that, that can only mean one thing. He wants to poly you. So my eyes already shift to the arena frames to watch the mage's cast. And I get an easy shot over that there. The better option would be for you to preemptively position yourself that way to completely line of sight to polymorph. Now if we look at a comp like MLS, we got two spammable CCs, the Mage's Poly and the Warlock's Fear. Obviously you can't have two focus frames. You really need to pay attention to their positioning and watch for incoming CC. Not only through your focus frame but see beyond that and predict ahead of time what they're trying to do to you. That's his ring. I'm not, I'm not gonna go into the ring. Actually I am. Uh, Venomous trying to fear me. You're, you're LOSing me, you're LOSing me. I'm not going dude, in I'm there, dude. Where are you? Okay, I'm coming. Other side, other side, other side. I'm gonna trink it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna cloak here. God damn it. Yeah. Can you come back? Stay there, stay there, stay there. What'd you say? Just don't overextend too much. Alright. I'm on him. I'm a, do you want me to buy metaphors? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go, right. go. Uh, I'm gonna fear, I'm gonna fear. Getting it. Blinding. Blind. He trink it. No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't? Mace drink it. He's trying to fear me. He's trying to follow me. I'm gonna go on to your lane, dude. Go, go. Can you bomb the block? I'm purging him. I'm purging him. I'm coiled. I'm coiled. Get to follow me. Yeah, 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 I can't. I can't. Yeah. Nice sheep. Nice sheep. Get ready to dispel block. There it is. Bursting, bursting. So as you can see, I predicted a lot of incoming CC and avoided as much as possible. A comp like MLS can lock you down the whole game, only if you let them. Now let's take a quick look back on how I did this. The mage is on my focus, but I see the warlock coming towards me to cast the fear. So I start moving towards the left side of the pillar so it's not even worth it for him to come and chase me. Here they're really trying to get some CCs on me because they didn't get anything off yet. The mage is chasing me right here and the warlock's also trying to fear me here. And I just run away. You have to watch your enemies and try to position yourself correctly. Positioning is the most important thing for any healer in my opinion. So if you need more tips on that you should definitely check out the positioning videos by Cottage or Craze if you're a priest. But what I would really like for you to get out of this video is to just be more aware of your surroundings. Watch and predict what your enemies are trying to do and prevent as much incoming CC as possible. In this clip I want to focus on Warlocks. Because of their demonic circle, they can be all over the map, depending on where their portal is. You should always be aware of the demonic circle, because they can catch you off guard, and try to stay away from it because you don't want to get ninja feared. Let me show you what I mean. You can go um, top of there now. Okay. We should really go shaman though. Okay, okay, go shaman then. Here I was focusing a bit too hard on my rogue's health, and I actually didn't see the warlock port. It helps a lot if your teammates can call it out. Unfortunately, nobody called out that the Warlock ported here. There was also a Ring of Frost there, so it was kinda hard to see the Warlock porting. So I saw the fear being cast and I went to LOS it, and then up, there was the Warlock. I know, all that talk about field of vision and I got ninja feared. But he also ported behind my Gladius, so it was extra hard to see. Just as a general rule, stay away from the demonic circle. There's absolutely no point standing near it. Now let's move on to the last section of this video, which is about having a positive mindset. Now you might be wondering how this is connected to game awareness. I think approaching your games with the correct mindset is very important as a healer. In this section I'm going to be talking about the correct mindset to approach your games, team morale, and mental fatigue. The correct mindset to approach any game is to be playing to win, no matter what the situation warrants. Because if you give up, you get nothing out of it. But if you give it 1000% in a game, not only will your chances of winning improve, 
but even if you lose you will improve far faster than if you had already given up. There is a huge difference between trying and losing and giving up and losing. Losing is part of the game, but if you are actually trying to win, you are already thinking of ways to improve, which will make you far better than where you started. You should never enter a game assuming that you are going to lose, because there are times when you can turn things around, and that's what makes this game worth playing. I'm Hex. Thank you. I'm Garota. I'm Kidney Flow, I'm Kidney Flow, I need help! Come. Okay. Smoke finally defensively. I'm di disarming Rogue. Disarmed him. Fuck. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm gouge him. Here, my Rogue thought the game was over until I yelled out that I'm okay. This completely changed his state. This is where I'll be talking about team morale. Team morale can have a big role when you're having a long game. You need to effectively communicate with your teammates on the situation. Because the healer knows if the team will be okay or not. Always call out things like, I'm okay, I got you, I can get you up here. If you don't effectively communicate things like that, your team morale will certainly go down and everybody will start to play bad because they think the game is already over. Always communicate with your team so that you can keep your team's morale up. Somebody come to me. Yep, yep, yep. I'm coming to get you. Gouging lock. Good, I can get you up right here. So, shaman, shaman, shaman. Let's get away. Alright, dude. I'm trying to. I'm fucking. I'm mana burning him, mana burning him. Okay? I'm in fear. I can get you. Alright. Burn. Getting one more burn. Is he asking after that? He's dead. No, no, no. Yeah, no, he's, he's not. dead. Oom, bro. He's oom, he's oom. Get him, no. get him, get him. I'm in cheap. I'm gonna trick it if I have to. No trigger, just trigger. Come, come, finish him. Finish him. Nice! In this clip, I'm going to be talking about mental fatigue. When you have really long intense games, your whole team will be mentally fatigued. It's very important for you to keep up a positive mindset in order to succeed. Try to stay positive, keep your team morale up, and really try your best to win. In this clip, we have a very high rated match that lasted longer than expected, going 25 to 30 minutes of intense sparring, both teams almost dying every few minutes. You will notice how fatigued I sound later in the match. But notice how we keep up a positive attitude to victory. Alright, I'm gonna go lock hard. I'm silence, I'm silence full. He's bursting you, he's bursting you! Holy shit. So much damage. <laughs> this is fucked up. It is, yeah. Sheep in the, sheep in the shaman. Getting your fear? Feared, feared, feared. Flying, uh, Kelbra. Holy fuck, this damage is so fucked up. Yeah, it's because the shot raised wings, dude. Uh, uh, no, no, keep hitting. Keep hitting. Don't worry. I am, I am. I'm sleeping for you. I'm hitting Venema, so. Okay. I'm on Priest. I'm on Priest. There's a mana tide if you can get. Actually, I. No yeah, I can't handle the tide right now, so. I'm getting a quick drink here. Alright. I'm sheeping the shaman, sheeping the shaman. Shit, never mind, never mind. Right, I have a kidney smoke bomb, I have a kidney smoke bomb, dude. I can do, do, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Smoke bomb, smoke bomb. Dispersion. Go, 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 we got this. Sheeping the shaman, sheeping the shaman again. Sheeping the shaman. Oh. Getting a quick drink. I just showed him, I didn't break, I didn't break. Sheeping the shaman, sheeping the shaman. Look, look, that's full. I'm shouting this guy. I'm shouting this guy. Alright, do it, do it, do it. Kill, 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 kill. Go, 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 kill him. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. Good job, good job. Fuck, fuck. fuck. Yes, fuck. Okay, that was fun. That's it for this video about game awareness and having a positive mindset. Let's do a quick recap on what we went through. First we went through having general game awareness by always watching your focus frame. And then we talked a bit about your field of vision and how you should always try to expand your vision by seeing more. Then we went into awareness beyond the focus frame where we got into shifting your vision to the arena frames when necessary. And most importantly, we talked about being more aware of your surroundings by watching your enemy positioning to try to predict what they're trying to do to you so you can avoid as much CC as possible. And lastly, we talked about how playing to win can have a positive impact in your games and how important it is to have a positive mindset to keep your team morale up throughout your games. Remember to play to win and never give up on your teammates. And they won't give up on you. I'm going to have many more videos like this one on skill cap. 
So if you enjoyed this and you would like to see more videos, as well as hundreds of other videos like this, you should definitely come check us out. In fact, I actually started out as a Skillcap member before I became a contributor. I learned a lot from watching all the instructional videos there, and actually having my questions answered thoroughly by top gladiators. I joined Skillcap around 2k rating, and now I'm playing at 2.9 to 3k rating on multiple priests. Skillcap definitely did help me, so if you really want to improve fast, click the link below in the description and come check us out today. I hope this video has been helpful to some of you. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you the best of luck in the arena.